everyone. Well, you have noticed by now that I didn't um, release anything specific to Halloween this year. Um, instead, I have something a little bit different today. That is a piece of music by a band I've never heard before. And this particular song was released on Halloween, October 31, 2024. So just a few days ago, and this is, I guess I wouldn't say it's my Halloween gift to you, but anyway, it's the closest to any Halloween activity that I have come this year. So let me read what I have about the band just a paragraph or two, and then we'll listen. Till the Ache is a rock band based in Texas. Their music is a testament to the power of confronting and embracing one's inner darkness. A raw, bleak exploration of trauma, offering a haunting yet redemptive experience. Sounds pretty dark, huh? As they continue to carve their path in the music scene, Kill the Ache stands as a beacon for those seeking solace and strength in the face of life's inevitable struggles. Their most recent single, entitled Echoes, is what I'll be listening to tonight, and that was released on Halloween Day of this year. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> I could have guessed, maybe I should have said out loud, but somehow I had in mind, even though I've never heard the band and even the description just said it was a rock band based in Texas, somehow with the name of the band, Kill the Ache, and that description, I kind of expected to hear something metallic and I'm not shocked to discover that's what it is. <laughs> But you know, it's interesting, the instruments are metal style, but I am not hearing, well, I'm not all the, all the way through the piece yet, and I know I've heard enough metal in my life now to know that they don't always use that metallic growling voice, but here it's interesting to me that it's not just a, should we say, normal type voice, but instead it's a, it's almost a, well, it's multiple voices singing in harmony, like, kind of like a choral chorus or something like that, and, um, you know, maybe a men's chorus or something. Interesting to hear that blending with this style of music. I'm not sure I've heard anything quite like that before, but it lends a little bit of softness, a little bit of warmth to the overall harshness that I typically associate with metal. Again, I'm generalizing here because I've heard enough to know that there are all kinds of voices and all sorts of variants of the style, but this feels like a pretty standard, pretty classic um metal musical style the 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 rhythms the instruments the the musical material except the voice has this the voices have this particular uh, tone and style to them which i 
don't associate normally with this type of music. Play this game with me for a little bit here, because I, I just started doing this as I'm listening. <laughs> Imagine there are no instruments, just the voices. Where, what context would you place those voices if you were just hearing a cappella, these voices? is interesting. Um, I'm thinking back to the introductory paragraph that I read and the, well, let's see, it, how did it say it? Um, bleak exploration of trauma, offering a haunting yet redemptive experience. Like there's a glimmer of light in there somewhere. And as I'm listening to the music, I feel like musically, they're playing with some, at least for me, um, associations, stereotypes of, of certain styles of music that takes me, I hear the, the ache, the trauma, the pain, the cry. At the same time, I hear this I wouldn't even say it's very, it's, um, very heavily veiled. Um, it's even in the lyrics here, this reference, this pointing towards a certain association with redemptive elements, specifically, specifically having to do with the Christian tradition. For example, what do we have here? We have, okay, let's, well, we'll get to the voices in a second. In the text, we have, you see, I hold a heavy burden. We all do. Rip it out. You'll see my crown of thorns. This line, crown of thorns, comes back multiple times. It's hard. It's very hard to argue away the, the very direct allusion cross-reference to the Christian tradition, isn't it? 
crown of thorns. You hear crown of thorns and you immediately have a certain narrative in your mind, don't you? Well, musically now. Okay, let me take off my headphones. Then we'll talk about the music. It's so interesting to me too that I was hearing this in the music even before I recognized it in the lyrics. When you played that game of imagining what context, where would you hear voices like that? I'm curious. Please drop it in the comments. Tell me what you came up with first. I'll tell you what I came up with and I don't think you'll be surprised. It sounds like a men's chorus singing sacred music. Um, it even reminded me of a specific CD that I own by the group Cantus. Um, I believe this, the CD is called Here Lies the Home, and it's their album with um, some traditional American music, spirituals, and it's, it's a whole mix. Really interesting. And maybe I'll look up a few links and have Vlad put them below in the description, just so you can compare and listen and see what I'm hearing with music I'm familiar with and compared to this. And I don't think that's a mistake either. This music is this piece of music. They are, they are really not trying to hide the fact that they are, they are pointing towards a, a, they're trying to take us through this exploration of our trauma and our pain. And they're trying to get us to look at it very close up. At the same time, they're trying to point us beyond that to something more hopeful, to a gleam of light that um, can be redemptive. And I guess what I'm impressed with is the fact that they've done it such that in my first listen, having never heard the band before, I picked up on it in the music right away. Of course, anyone can read the text and read Crown of Thorns, and pretty much anyone that I know of would catch that reference. But the music, listen to the music. What do we hear? It's the same type of cross-reference, isn't it? And it's fascinating to me that they are doing this. It's I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the piece itself. Um, it's such a strange mix, actually, in some ways. Um, and maybe the best way to express what I'm trying to say is read a few more of the lyrics. Dreaming, oh, let's say this. Screaming in the dark, this grave is suffocating, so sick of asking why am I alive? Hear how I missed the mark, and now I'm left here waiting for my day to die like suicide. It's dark, isn't it? It's, it's, it's intense. And I'm not sure how I feel about this kind of stereotyping the religious element into it, but at the same time, it works. It, it gets that element in there and, well, I have to give them credit for doing quite a good job of making us move that direction rather quickly. In other words, they're wanting us to confront our pain and our darkness and then they're saying, but don't sit here, don't dwell here. Find a way out, find something, find your way forward. And whether it is the Christian religion for you or some other means of getting there, whatever it is, don't sit here, find your way forward. And that, that's the message I get from this music. And well, that was my first exposure to this band. And um, I'm a bit curious if they have what what their other music is like, do, how much other music do they have? It doesn't seem like a, uh, well, this is just recently released. So I don't know how much of a history they have. I should find out a bit more and maybe explore more in the future. We'll see, and I'll see you soon.